Less than 20% of students got this question right when it was distributed in 2019. Now, four marks is tricky to get. There's a couple of easy marks to get, first of all. We've got a plane that's going to the right. We know that because it's got thrust in this direction, um, but currently it's going at a constant speed. We know that because the forces are equal or balanced in both those directions. So it says, explain the forces needed to change so the airplane can land. So for it to land, obviously it needs to go downwards, um, and it also is going to need to sort of slow down a bit as well. So we're going to talk about that first of all. I'm going to talk about the vertical ones initially. Now the one that can't change is the weight of the plane because that's the weight of the plane. Unless you're chucking passengers out, that's not going to go well. So what we'd have to do is basically decrease the lift force on the plane. And that's then going to mean there's an overall bigger resultant force in this direction. Next is we need to slow it down. So we could decrease the thrust, which is what they do in planes. Um, so thrust going to the right here, um, and that's going to mean there's a resultant force in the left-hand direction. And that's going to slow um, the plane down, which is what we want. So that's a really, really like, easy four marks if you know how to talk about these things uh, one thing at a time.